I've been making them for over 20 years now, and I've been making them with the way the monks did them for several centuries. Chances are you won't find a monk at the Houston Bayou City Art Festival. Let's stop by booth number 60 and a world of possibilities opens up. Thanks guys, nice talking to you. A place where undiscovered fantasy lands and covert spy missions are at your very fingertips, if you've got the right book. It's a little step away from reality for just a, a little bit of time to, to go into a corner and to write in your journal. Everybody's different in what they want. Some people want something that looks really old worldy and kind of Harry Potter-ish, and they want it to already look broken in, like it's been around for a couple of centuries. And then some people want something really fresh and really crisp and bright color that didn't even exist back then. These leather-bound books called Iona books come in all shapes and sizes. And they wouldn't even be here if it weren't for an unexpected plot twist when owner Michael Mitchell had her backpack stolen on vacation. I had my backpack stolen by a young child in the train station in Rome. And I ended up um, meeting a bookbinder in Venice the next week because I was looking for a new journal because my journal had been in that original backpack that was stolen. When I met him, I was just blown away by the, the look of the books. They had this old world deliciousness to them that was very romantic to me. And so I ended up showing so much excitement about them that he kind of took a liking to me. So he let me hang out with him for several days and watch him make them and showed me different techniques that he used. And I was just thinking I'm having an awesome time hanging out with this old Italian guy. I wasn't thinking I'm gonna go home and make a journal by any stretch of the imagination. And yet that's exactly what happened. Soon after Michael came back to the States, she filled up her journal and went out in search of another one. But nothing at your run-of-the-mill office supply store could match that old world deliciousness. So Michael made her own. This was the very first one I ever made. This was, I made in April of 1994. And it is broken in so beautifully. Together with her team, she works out of a studio in Austin, filling shelf after shelf with hundreds of worn and rustic journals. So putting a book together involves a lot of parts and pieces. Our leather, which is all surplus, we cut that all down by hand um, after tracing the pattern out onto the leather with an awl. Then we hand tear all of the paper, and then we fold it in half, we stitch it into the leather and the leather we've poked holes in with an awl, all by hand. And the twine is waxed by hand even. Then we do all the stitching and then we trim it with, a, with an X-Acto knife and all of the hardware I hand hammer on uh, with uh, copper rivets. We have no machinery in here other than our computer. Like an ancient library, people walk the aisles of Michael's shop in search of that perfect book. She promises there's an Iona journal for any and every occasion, but if you can't find exactly what you're looking for, well, Michael's happy to make it. Anybody who wants a book can find the paper and the size, the shape, the color, number of pages that they need for their project. We're always amazed at how creative people can be. I really like this color right here. Could, could you put hardware on this one? You bet. Yeah. You want to pick something out? Yeah. Okay, cool. And we've had people uh, write the story of how they met each other. Lots of people are using them for their weddings. Anything that's a great life event, that's what you would put in one of our books because they are made to last forever.
It's the everlasting quality of Iona Journals that keeps customers coming back. But according to Michael, Iona Journals are about more than making money. They're about making memories. Knowing that people are using these for things that really mean a lot to them is what makes me happy. That's one of the reasons I can't make tablet covers. I'm a book person. and I, I don't make covers for electronic equipment. That would kill my soul. But I don't want to have a conversation with people about their iPad. I want to have a p conversation with people about their grandchildren or about the amazing adventure they're about to take in Africa. And I know that what I'm making is really making that experience much more enjoyable for them. Hundreds of writers have made their living from books, and Michael Mitchell is no different. Her passion for reading and writing, not on a screen, but the traditional way, resonates throughout her work. For her customers, Iona Journals are an opportunity to record some of life's most special moments, the ones that, when all added up, change our lives for the better, even when we least expect it. I can't even put into words how this has changed my life. The whole thing, having my backpack stolen. I wanna hug that little kid that stole my backpack. That's a wonderful thing that happened to me by accident. The man that I learned from, he's a piece in that puzzle. The man who I met in the square that took me to him is a piece in that puzzle. Like all of these people came into my life at the right time for the right reason. And I can't even imagine my life as a designer or architect now. This is exactly where I'm supposed to be.